to our channel. I'm Rachel. I'm Nikki, and we are the Stitch Sisters. And we're together. <laughs> well, kind, or kind of. of. We're socially distancing, <laughs> having a coffee in my back garden on my yes. back terrace. Um, but as you know, the government has now said that you can meet one other person outside your house yes. and stay a safe distance apart. And, and you're um, my one. And you're my one. <laughs> so we thought, obviously, we're going to have to have a proper catch up yes. with you guys and let you know what we've been up to during yeah. this continually strange time. Yeah, it's not getting any less surreal no, it, as no. it goes on. No. How have you been coping? I have to apologise in advance. I have an engineering yard behind me, so all of the noises you will hear is from all the large articulated lorries coming in and out, but there isn't anything I can do about that. No. So we'll just talk and a bit louder when we hear it. They've obviously just decided to start when we started filming. That's always the way. <laughs> <laughs> so how have you and the family been coping? Well, I think we're coming into week 10 now, aren't we? Yeah. And, uh, and I have to say, there have been periods where it's flown by and there have mm. been periods where it's really, really dragged. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this has probably been a bit of a tricky week. I've been a bit irritable, we were both saying. Yeah, been, been a, a bit touchy. Bit, a bit touchy, a bit irritable. Um, but I think it's just because it just seems to be going on forever and you're mm. you know we've got older children so um it is like having four independent people yes. trying to function in the house together all the time working schooling yeah. meeting together uh, trying to get jobs done around the house and just you know and that can obviously cause some friction but we've mm. also had some really really lovely moments yeah so i constantly have moments where i'm so grateful for where we live and the beautiful countryside around us the walks um, are great so and i'm constantly grateful for our health and i'm constantly grateful mm -hmm. for having being married to someone i actually like uh, <laughs> i think that's quite important <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> whose company i genuinely enjoy i do miss my personal space i have to say i yes. didn't realize how much mm. um but overall it has been just it's not too bad. Yes. I was going to say it's good, but it's not good, but it's not too bad. Well, yeah. I mean, I think in the first few weeks I would have said, oh, it's wonderful. Whereas yeah. now it's, it's, it's okay. It's all right. We're doing okay. Yeah. I feel like I've gone round, like, I feel like I've come back to the beginning again. I feel like I've done a big circuit in my, how I felt about it. It's a bit like grief. You kind of go, you have to go around all the pit stops before you kind of get to the end. But I've started again at the beginning. Yeah. So this week, Although I've been a bit tetchy, I've been doing things that I was doing in week one. So I'm clearing stuff out and chucking stuff away and yeah. I'm organising stuff, thinking of painting rooms and stuff like that. <laughs> so I do feel like I've kind of come full circle yeah. and come back to the beginning again. Um, my husband's still working from home, so he's still in the sewing room. Um, he is thinking of going back to the office because his office is just for him. Mm -hmm. So he could do that. But yeah. I'm not too sure about me wanting him to go back. Yeah. Um, I think it's just the thought of me being just me and the kids. Yes. I, I don't know whether I would cope, cope that because I would because clearly it would just be, be like fine. holidays. It's, it's like yeah, they're like the summer holidays. So, um, but I'm not quite ready for him to do that yet. Mm. So I've I did some clearing out yesterday of my sewing room to make it less of a sewing room mm -hmm. and things like so more like, of an office, more of an office, <laughs> and kind of cleared the kitchen table. Do you so think I'm you'll just... ever get your sewing room back? No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I will. But I kind of I feel like I've kind of I've made a little area, yes. so I've, I've got some stuff in there and I can go and get it and I can bring it out. Yeah. But what we can't have is we can't have him in the sewing room and me on the kitchen table right. permanently yeah. because then we just lose all eating spaces. Yes, um, of course. So it's, it's kind of just making adjustments for things like that and, yeah. and doing you know doing what you can really. That's and you've the just moved Charlie into the spare room, haven't you? Yeah. Otherwise that could have been. <laughs> it could have been. We've got a really small box room. Yeah, you which we set that up as your sewing room. We could, yeah. I mean, I could just move the bed out and buy a, move a table up there yeah. or something like that but yeah. again I want that as a space for when my dad can come to visit so yeah that but if you've got one of those pull down beds it can yeah. be up out of the way on the wall just inside the door it Ooh. can be up out of the way yeah and then you know just move the table yeah. when he's not there it's an option it's a long term yeah. option if it comes to it but yeah you but can persuade him to go back to the office at some point maybe yeah. <laughs> maybe <I'm saying laughs> right but it's one of those things it's like i don't want anything to change and I, but also i'm still i am still thinking about the future so yeah. i'm still thinking when my dad will be able to come and visit us yeah and and things like that and i want but this at the same time it's a really hard thing because you have to make the house work for you 
as you are. Yeah, you can't make your house work for a couple of weeks a year. You can't no. prioritise things that happen a couple of weeks a year over mm. what you need for day-to-day -day life. And I yes. think you have to prioritise spaces in terms of how much you use them and how important yeah. they are to you. Yeah. And I think when it comes to family and friends staying, you make it work. Yeah. We used to have a sofa bed in our lounge, which everyone who came to stay would sleep on, or we'd sleep in and let them have mm. our, our room. And then when we got rid of that, we thought, well, you know, but that's, that's going to make things so much more mm. difficult. But it really doesn't. No. Because all that happens is that you know, the kids bunk in together and then yeah. one of their rooms is free and well that's know. what could happen easily Charlie yeah. could go in the Dylan and my dad could go in that room anyway it's yeah. just but it's I think it's just adjustments it's that kind of thing psychologically everyone seems to be okay we all seem to be coping well with it I have a family of people who really like being at home yeah so we're not struggling with that and at all who loves <laughs> having you all at home oh god she's absolutely loving it she's really really loving it uh, she's getting probably two walks a day, which yeah. is nice. Um, and we all go for the walks, and she's just loving it. So. Yes. Okay, it's been her best coronavirus yet. <laughs> Hopefully, I lost. <laughs> and of course, we've been busy, even though we've not been as much on YouTube for you guys. We have yeah. been doing some stuff. We've been doing things on the blog, yes. and we've been doing lots of free patterns and things like that. Yeah, obviously, we can't film any new classes at the moment. No. Um, so. Uh, I mean, to be honest, when it comes to it, when in the studio, um, it is just the two of us and um, we, we can socially distance reasonably well. It's just that for certain camera angles, mm. you have to get quite close to each other. Yeah. So we're just waiting until that's allowed before we can get in and film you any mm. new classes. And we don't want to film classes with us in full masked up. No. <laughs> <laughs> that would be hard work. to hear what we're saying. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to be sensible. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, instead we focused on other content that we can mm -hmm. create for you. So we've done a few different YouTube tutorials. So first of all, I did that my DIY maxi skirt, which is inspired mm. by some of the ones from our spring trends. Mm. Um, and then uh, we did a video for a face mask, which I know we were quite late to do that obviously there had been uh, face marks tutorials around for a while yeah but because so many of you had asked we just thought okay yeah. well let's film one because it's like learning anything isn't it there are certain times when you prefer it to learn it from your favorite people and yeah of course so some of you had said you're our favorites can you do one <laughs> so we did and uh, and I'm pleased we did because even though it's not a hugely successful video it doesn't need to be it's more about people having lots of choice and Absolutely. options when it comes to choosing yeah. that especially seeing as we're probably all going to end up using them now yeah, yeah. Um, and then we just I did my bag <laughs> did your bag that's so right I did, did, I did a I wanted to do some quilt as you go I wasn't quite ready for dressmaking at the time so I wanted to just the quilter sometimes comes out in me and all I want to do is cut up little bits of fabric and sew them back together again and yeah. I thought actually quilt as you go is a really good option for that yes so I went into my fat quarter stash and grabbed out some lovely bright fabrics and made a big bag for shopping because that's the most exciting thing that I do at the moment is to go shopping <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and using the quilt as you go technique which is from our free quilt as you go fabric baskets class yes so and it's lovely it's a really nice it is. bag it's really it's colourful huge. I definitely want one yeah it's gorgeous it's lovely and then after that, I uh, I made my dungas, my DIY dungas, um, yes. and uh, and you've made some now as well. I and have. Between us, we've created a tutorial, and a couple of people have made them already, which yeah. is amazing. Um, and you're always relieved when a couple of people make these kind of things because you want us to make sure it actually works. <laughs> yeah. When you see someone else has managed, you go, Phew, okay, that's fine. Because <laughs> of course, we you had, you did Rachel wrote the tutorial, and then she gave it to me. But of course, we could we would normally do it together. Yeah, exactly. And so I actually was following Rachel's tutorial to make them. But it actually and worked, it worked out quite well because yeah. it was a good way of testing it because there were yeah. a couple of things that you said I'm not sure that makes sense and I was able to tweak it yeah. um, and uh, and I think that that's maybe the way we should do it in the future. <laughs> you just give you instructions and you do it blind and yes. that way we know if there's anything that's not quite right. Um, but yeah that was really really nice yes. um, and then I have been sewing, it's not been my main pastime, I, well it has. I guess it has when I've had free time. Mm -hmm. um, but all of these grand plans that I had to sew a million gajillion things hasn't quite been happening. I have no. been getting a fair amount done. Um, so I copied my favourite t-shirt um, yes. and uh, and that turned out really, really well. So I made a pattern from that and I've ordered four pastel coloured jerseys to Ooh. make them in. So I'm Lovely. really excited about that. Um, and I made my Franken sweatshirt dress, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> which is basically just sweatshirts and hoodies all cut up and stuck back together. And yeah. it's like a walking sleeping bag. It's the oh, obvious thing. Walking rainbow in the whole bag. world. 
Um, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, and the other thing that I made last yeah. weekend that I'm excited to show you is I've done a hack of the indigo pattern by Ooh, Tilly yes. Buttons. I've added a huge puff sleeve with shearing, <laughs> um, which you could learn how to do from our sleeve hacking class. Yeah. So that's all very exciting. Can't wait to show you that. Um, and I've sewn a rainbow dress as well, which I've not shown anyone yes. yet. So that's Has finished. Has it got a zip in it yet? Yeah, it's all ready to go. I just, um, it's been really hot these last couple of days, so I've thought yeah. about it, but it's been too hot, do you know what I mean? Too just, hot for a pretty dress. Sometimes mm. you just need to wear shorts and t-shirts and something you can get yeah. sweaty in. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've been what did I? Well, I've, I've made a couple of pair of pairs of Portobello trousers, yeah. but again, and these are the ones that we've made previ or you've made previously out of jersey. Pull on, pull on ones. Yeah. No, no zips, no fussiness. But again, it's been too hot to wear them, so I haven't quite got round to putting them on yet. But they're in my wardrobe; they're waiting. It's fine. Um, and then I, of course, finished my Carolyn pajamas. That oh, was they my are gorgeous. that was my big make. I, when I finally wanted to get into dressmaking again and do some dressmaking, I wanted something that was really complex. Yeah. I wanted to get my teeth into something, and I've always wanted to, to make the short version of the pajamas with yeah. all the piping. And the fabric was just from my stash, and the only thing I had to order was some um, bias binding, and I went for satin, mm. and I did satin all inside the inside seams, and everything Lovely. like that. Did Hong Kong seams and size nice. and everything so all nice and the lovely. fanciest pajamas ever yes i felt like i was just throwing everything at it, it was yeah. all my energy was going into these pajamas and i'm just in love with them so, yeah and i've actually done a pattern review which is coming out on the blog next week for that where i talk through the details of it yeah. as well so that's Excellent. all coming up um and yesterday i cut out my liberty dress yes so that's what i'm very excited about I've from been our spring and, trends again yeah i've been on and on about making it because i bought this amazing wallpaper print fabric from uh, minerva but of course because we're now in a very different situation i just feel like it's maybe not the best dress to make but yeah. i just wanted to make it mm. and i feel like i'll just be happier having it in my mm. wardrobe and maybe it'll be the, the dress that i wear out on our first trip outside the house or something yeah I, so i'm just I just Maybe want to, to make celebrate. It. You just go out looking Cel ridiculously yes. glamorous. Ridiculously <laughs> glamorous in this massive wallpaper print. So sometimes you just need to make something that you just yeah. want to, whether it's appropriate or not. But also, making at the moment can be about what's suitable for right now and what mm. you're craving, kind of comfort-wise. Yeah. But it can just as much be something to help you look forward to the future. If you're yes. sewing a dress that's for the future, mm. in the process of doing that, you're looking forward, aren't you? You're getting yes. excited about where you're going to go and what you're going to do when you're allowed to, mm. and that's really helpful. I think as yeah. well because you, we're not just going to all assume that that this is it now and life will never get back to normal obviously no. we all want to hope that at some point in the near future <laughs> yeah. it will and you want to have a nice exactly. thing to wear when that happens even if I can just wear it to yours for a coffee yes. that will be fine I will do that so yes. I'll put it on and take some pictures as well yes so. well I have also bought fabric to do um so you're doing the beard chicks from Liberty, That's from Liberty um, yeah. but I've got a vintage pattern which is quite similar in fact it's quite similar to one of the McColl's ones that we covered in that um, okay in the spring trends yeah. um, so it has a long puff sleeve and it's a maxi length and mm -hmm. it has a little band at the, at the neck but then a deep V um, so I've got fabric to make that but I haven't been inspired to actually do no. that yet um, in fact I've got fabric for lots of things that I haven't yeah. been inspired to do so I'm doing some patchwork dawn jeans made from two different colours of men's Levi's mm -hmm. and I've patched them together and I've cut my pieces I just haven't actually got round to sewing them yeah. so all the pockets and the loops and the fly and everything's been removed ready for me to reattach oh, okay. but I just haven't got round to sewing them yet yeah. um, I'm not really uh, too excited about the Levi's denim is very heavy yes. and then with all the extra patchwork seams as well um, it's going to be a real graft so I'm just not ready for that yet um, I also bought some quilting, uh, some quilted fabric um, to make the Casey coat by Starlark which oh, is yeah. a long line bomber jacket um, and I've bought some pink cotton drill to make mm -hmm. the, uh, I can't remember what it's called now, oh the Jean-Paul boiler suit by Ready to Sew. Oh yes, you should obsess with boiler suits for a while. Yeah, I was watching an interior design show mm -hmm. and um, basically all of the designers were wearing boiler suits but they were like designer boiler suits so they would take them off to paint. <laughs> But I was just kept seeing them and going, oh, I love that. One. So I'm making it like a candy floss pink one. Yeah, nice. <laughs> nice. 
So yeah, lots of plans. Yes. Um, but I just feel like life is getting in the way a bit too much at the mm. moment, and there isn't as much spare time as I would as I would like. No. Um, but there are lots of projects to move on to when I'm ready. Exactly. But you know, we are um, we are lucky that we are still running the business from home, yes, so absolutely. we are still business yeah. do, busy doing that, and so we're not kind of sitting around all day yeah. with nothing to do. Yeah, exactly. In fact, if anything, there's more and more to do, especially mm. website work, because we've got more people on the site than ever before, which yes. is fantastic. And we've been so uh, touched by all the messages that we've received from mm -hmm. you guys thanking us for, for reducing the prices and yeah. making them so accessible. Um, and it's lovely to have so many people online, mm. but obviously that puts additional pressures on the website because <laughs> it needs constant maintenance. And so lots of questions being asked. Yeah, lots stuff. of questions being asked, yeah. lots of support required. So, yeah. um, so that's a lot of extra work. Mm -hmm. um, just wait for that very noisy truck to pass by. Tractor, a little old tractor. Okay. Yes, yeah. but obviously we wouldn't change it for the world. It's wonderful, no, but exactly. it just means there's been less time to sew. Yes. So, on another note, have you had any time to watch any TV? Obviously. Well, the obviously, sewing the, been on. the sewing bee has been on, so I've been watching that. I haven't actually seen last night's no, episode. No, I haven't yet either. Um, I, I, I had a day off yesterday. My husband had a day off, so I thought it was Saturday all day, even though it was Wednesday, so I completely lost track of the day. Yeah. So I'll need, I'm going to watch it this afternoon, I think. And I have been enjoying it. I quite like all the characters in it yeah. this, this year. I think Esme and Patrick are being really funny yes, and things yeah. like that. So it's kind of more light-hearted I think than it has been in the past yeah I have to say I absolutely love Joe in it I just think yeah. um, he adds uh, I mean I, I, I love Claudia Winkleman yeah I'm a huge fan of hers I just think she's nuts and I love it mm. um, but I love the the, the humour that he brings to it yeah I, there's so much more in you in there and, uh, <laughs> and I just think the fact that he knows absolutely nothing about it and he doesn't no. pretend that he does makes so funny. But some of the outfits have been made, he's been wearing in the show, have been made by his sister. Oh, have they? Yeah, so I, was, I assumed, they were, his, his, I assumed no. they were being made for him. No, but his, uh, it was his sister. So his sparkly jumpsuit his from tracksuit. last tracksuit yeah. from last week was made by his sister, I think. Nice. Or it could have been something, oh no, it might have been the one before. It was a really wild like shirt, a really multicoloured shirt. Every week he's out for So amazing. I think there's been there's been some handmadeness going yeah. on, which is just lovely, you know. Yeah. It's this commitment I to like the cause. guessing. I like when they tell you what the theme is for the next week, mm. I like guessing what he might be wearing. <laughs> well, we haven't seen the laundry week. I wonder what <laughs> yeah, it will exactly. be. <laughs> Long johns, maybe. Yeah, well we'll have to tune in later to find out. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've really been enjoying that. Mm -hmm. Um and uh, and what else have we been watching? We've been watching quite a lot of Netflix. So yeah. we're watching the second series of Dead to Me at the moment. We've watched the first mm -hmm. series when that came out a while mm -hmm. ago. Um, I've been watching The Last Kingdom. Um, yeah. A bit of historical drama. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm trying to think what else. I've been watching movies. I've been I, I've been getting to the point in a day where I, I've had enough of series and yeah. and I've just decided to sort of dip in and watch a few old favourites and things like that. And especially if I'm feeling a bit fed up. Yeah. If I'm feeling fed up, I'll just sit and watch all my favourite movies back to back. I was watching Nine to Five the other day. Oh, you love that movie. And I love that movie. Yes. I love Dolly Parton and I love that movie. And it just you know it's just simply watching something yeah. that makes you smile and laugh out loud is yeah. just what you need sometimes. Times. Yeah, and I always like that familiarity. It's like having a hug. Yeah, so yeah. even if it's not necessarily a happy movie, <laughs> it yeah, doesn't matter. Yeah. It just gives you that yeah. sort of reassurance that it's like everything's okay. I uh, I thought of you actually uh, recently because on RuPaul they had uh, on Drag Race they they did a they call them musicals but they're basically spoof musicals and they All did right. a nine to five one. <laughs> Really made me laugh. Oh, uh, and I just love thought, it. Oh, Nikki would like that. Yes, yes, <laughs> I just love it. So, um, little bits of like, like, yeah. personal TLC. Yes, I uh, continue. Speaking of TLC, uh, my self care has gone pretty much completely out of the window. Right. Um, so I'm letting the grey grow in, and, and it's there's lovely. a lot of it now. And I am getting used to. It. I have lots of people saying to me you should keep it, and I think that I will. Yeah, yeah. I, I am adjusting to it. Yeah. And it's less of a stripe now because it kind of is blending in. Can't yes. Can't very much with the headscarf today. Um, but um, but yeah, and I've been wearing barely any makeup, if any. So yeah. today's the first day I've put lipstick on in over a week yeah me um, too so um and, and i'm really enjoying that actually it, yeah i'm feeling quite i don't know just quite relaxed about the whole thing about appearance you know it doesn't yeah. really matter that much no exactly um 
I did find I, I got a little bit low the last few weeks and I think it was just because I was spending so much time in sweats and casual stuff. So I did decide to belatedly jump into Me Made May mm -hmm. and uh, and start wearing some Me Made items. And that did force me to make a little bit more of an effort, but I still wasn't putting on like a load of no. makeup or anything. No. So that, that is quite nice. And again, I'm not sure I'll, I'll go back. I'm not sure I'll mm. ever depart from trainers and sliders and no, flip flops and no, not this year anyway that's for sure <laughs> no which is quite nice but i have been working out a lot yes. so to keep my my mind and my body in shape so i've started doing body combat which is kind of kickboxing mixed martial arts mm -hmm. to music mm -hmm. um so i'm really enjoying that not so much the one arm press ups <laughs> but the rest of it i'm really enjoying <laughs> um and i've just found that even though yoga's always been my thing in the past uh, yoga is kind of what centres me when everything feels a bit hectic whereas at the yeah. moment it's the opposite everything's a bit chill yeah. and I need something hectic mm. to kind of balance that yeah. out yeah. so um, but that has been helping for sure yeah and I'm exercising a lot still as well I've, I've I started personal training with my um, the lady I go to classes with in January and I'm so glad I started in January because by the time we hit lockdown I was quite used to some of the exercises and I just continued it so she gives me a program and I do it and yeah. then I put back to her and stuff. So I'm doing three or four sessions a week which Excellent. is more than I was doing pre-lockdown because there's no excuses now. No. And I find that it is um, it's one of the things that gives my week a routine Yeah, because I'm doing it on the same nights and I'm doing it on the same weekend days yeah. and things like that so I know what day it is whether I've exercised or whether I'm looking forward to exercising. Yeah, so. yeah. I'm trying to work out every day, mm -hmm. and but but there are always at least one day a week where I say, nah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm Your body finding. Needs rest, but, but I think is I'm finding on on the days when I don't, I uh -huh. really notice the difference in yeah. my mood, and I know that the exercise is really helping me at the moment. Uh -huh. So I can definitely recommend it if you're mm -hmm. going a bit stir crazy with this yeah. whole situation. You haven't tried exercise yet. Mm -hmm. It definitely does make a bit. Difference. Maybe you should go back and do yoga on the days that you don't feel well, like. Well, I did think about that, but actually, like you say, sometimes if you need a rest, you need a rest. Yeah, so absolutely. that's what I've been doing. So, yeah. um, but um, I think you just have to listen to yourself, don't you? And yeah. Just kind of do what you need. If you need more, do more. If you need less, yeah. do less most important thing I think at the moment is not to make yourself feel or let yourself feel guilty about anything you no. don't have to be the best at homeschooling it's really hard especially if you've got younger kids but mm -hmm. at any age you don't have to all get on all the time it's okay mm -hmm. to fight and argue and bicker mm -hmm. at the moment especially um, it's okay if you don't go on a walk every day um, as long as you get out of the house most days that's yeah. fine it's okay to feel down it is it's okay to stay in your pajamas the whole day if yeah. that's what you need to do it's all okay I think we it's all right have to, to have give breakfast us... in bed every day it is the beginning of lockdown because that's what I've done is. it's yes. like my new routine yes. <laughs> it is it is it's okay if the stress of trying to balance work and being a, a family and all that stuff is means that you're biting people's heads off more often yeah. that's totally fine you just um, need to find your outlet something you something you can channel that's going to make you happy whether that's watching your favorite movie or reading your book or going to have yeah. a bath or buying something online or doing some sewing or yes. doing something that makes you happy that takes you out of that dark place and takes you into somewhere um, happy absolutely whatever that is yes and I think that because there is so much going on and we're all living on top of each other at the moment mm -hmm. then it is probably harder than ever to find that me time but it's yeah. more important than ever so if you're yeah. not doing it make sure you find even if it's 10 minutes a day mm -hmm. to read a book or whatever but yeah. just make sure you somehow carve out some time to do something that you love and that's just for you absolutely so on that lovely positive note, should we call it a day there? I think we should, yes. Um, I think <laughs> I need to go back and check what my kids are up to on the yes. school front. And, me and, too. Uh, and obviously we need to get on editing this so you guys can see. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, we're happy to film coffee and catch up as often as you'd like to see it because obviously we love catching up. Yes. Um, and we know lots of you say to us that it does feel like you're catching up with friends. So do comment below if you want more. If you don't, that's absolutely fine too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, do as many as you want us to but we're putting more out on the blog and obviously there's classes there's Instagram there's Facebook and there's a community page there as well so if you just want to talk to that like-minded people yeah who love sewing as much as you then that's a good place to go as well so we're trying to give as much to you as we can at the moment with all the restrictions that we've got yeah and we've got lots and lots of ideas for new content for when we do get back to normal yes. we know <laughs> what our next class is gonna be um, mm -hmm. well we've got two options depending on what time of year it is when we actually 
to get back to filming. Um, so we have got lots of things planned as soon as we're able. Absolutely. So we hope you guys have a great weekend and we'll see you soon with another video. Take care. Bye. Bye.